Well, if you know me, you know I love nothing more than a Tommy's margarita, which is my favourite margarita. It's not got the, um, I don't know, it's got a slightly different flavour, it's much more zesty and limey, and it's got agave syrup in it, which probably is better for you, but also other people will tell you it's just another form of sugar, but whatever, it tastes really good. So what is better than Tommy's margarita when it's really, really hot? is a frozen Tommy's margarita. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make mine today. And I'm doing a bit of a party one because I'm making it for seven people. So if you're making a normal margarita for yourself, one lime per person, two shots of tequila, and half a shot of agave. So it's like two, one, half of agave. Two tequila, one lime, half an agave. So those are kind of what you need to remember. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to squeeze your limes. Now when you've got a lime, give it a little roll. I've done this before for you. And then you get yourself one of these. And this is a lime squeezer. And they're really good because they squeeze out all the oils as well. So you give these a good squeeze. So I'm gonna crack on with this. Going. Right, four to go. So basically, you can make as many of these as you want. And honestly, you know, often I drink responsibly, but I would say make more than one. Like, if you're going to go for the effort of doing this, go for it because you'll want another one because they're quite moreish. Having said that, if you make your frozen ones, they're going to defrost. So you're going to end up with just a pool of ice. So you need to drink them quickly. This is like this is the worst advice for drinking ever, so make loads, drink quickly. No, don't, don't, don't drink responsibly, obviously, of course. But I'm just saying that ice melts, that's a fact. So, the next bit is a bit of simple mask. Um, two shots of tequila per person, seven people, 14 shots. So get yourself a nice um, tequila. I like the silver tequila because it's not too, strong in flavour and it stops the colour going, if you get one of those kind of gold ones, one, two, it makes it go a bit of a funny sludgy colour, two, don't let me lose count, three, 13, 14, 14 shots of tequila, that's a party and a jack. Uh, now what we need to do is it's a half, a, uh, half a shot of agave syrup per person, this also comes in light and dark, go for the lighter one again because it still keeps it looking really fresh and green. So seven people, half, that is three and a half shots. Not me dropping stuff. <laughs> That's my clutch sister, once again. Dropping stuff in the background. Right, three and a half. One. Two. Three. And a half. Now, if you're whizzing your ice, you do need to get yourself a good whizzer. This one's got um, an ice setting on it. It sort of blitzes it for a bit and then stops, and actually it does make a difference because I've tried it in other ones and I've ended up messing up my, um, the blades on it. So you do need quite a good one of these. But if you've got like a smooth make or something like that, they tend to be pretty good. Right, I'm gonna do this in batches of two. So I'm just giving that a stir to make sure the gold is even. And I'm going to do this in batches of two because otherwise this is going to overflow. Hmm, batches of three. And they get yourself some ice. Let's start with that. Actually, no, I'm not going to do Let's start with that and then we'll blitz. Don't forget to put your bit on the top, otherwise you'll have it everywhere. Okay, ice mode. It's so good. Cheers.